When I lied on the application, I just thought I was doing what was in the best interest of my daughters. I knew that what I had done is wrong. You know, I wasn't the partier, I wasn't the bad girl, I was a liar. I just didn't think I was gonna get caught. I mean, it destroyed my life, to be honest with you. How many people here have lied at least once since the beginning of 2014? <laughs> How many people here think of yourself as honest, wonderful people? The same group. How can it be that at the same time we think of ourselves as honest and then we recognize that we're dishonest? When we started looking at dishonesty, my colleagues and I thought this was just another example of human irrationality. But all of a sudden, the world was telling us this is actually a more important topic to study. I have never doped. We don't torture people. Does the NSA collect any data on millions or hundreds of millions of Americans? Not wittingly. In order to study dishonesty, we need to measure the extent to which people are dishonest. We've ran these experiments on almost 40,000 people. Dishonesty is contagious. Once you lie, you're more likely to lie again. And the bigger the brain, the larger the capacity to lie. Insider trading information is passed around. If it's not daily, it's weekly. Everyone's trading on this stuff. There wasn't one person in my office that wasn't. Being an NBA referee, I knew certain teams were gonna be at an advantage or a disadvantage. And it was just a situation where I crossed a line that I shouldn't have been near. I think that even when you know it's wrong, the immediate gratification suffocates what you know is right. It's not about being bad, it's about being human. <laughs>